Thanks to our great sponsors, Madison County Emergency Management, the Madison County Library in Richmond and Berea, KYmedia.net, and the Cane Pole in Southern Hills Plaza. Welcome to this special, I'm going to say it's an art segment with Tim Pack. Tim, welcome to the show. Well, it's good to be here. Thanks for inviting me. First of all, you have a special unveiling, which is the reason that you're here, but tell us a little bit about yourself and your history. Okay, well, I am a native Kentuckian. I was born in Covington, and I'm a preacher's kid, so I uh, lived in many places across the state, and I developed early on a real love for art, I just drawing pictures. I'm, I'm uh, self-taught, and... Uh, I also concurrently picked up a, a, a big interest in history. Oh, yes, 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 absolutely. And specifically absolutely. Kentucky history and, right, right. and the Civil War, and so those things have come together in my latest project. Oh, okay, fantastic. So tell us some of the things that, you have, that you've actually done. Uh, well, I've done a number of things creatively. I've recently uh, illustrated and written a book, a children's book. Oh, nice, book. yeah, you were telling me yeah. about that, right. Uh, but I've done a number of pieces of... Uh, one of the ones that maybe I can show you later is uh, it's called Reflections, and that was on the cover of Dean Warren Lambert's yes, book. Yes, yes, I remember right that one. Fell. Right, right. Uh, and that's the subject of their latest painting I've done, too. But, that's correct, uh, that's correct. So, yeah, we did that painting. I did that painting back in 92, uh, and I did a number of other things that were uh, inspired by having visited the Perryville yes, battlefield. Yes, battlefield, that's right, right. I found the... Going around to the places like that in Shiloh always kind oh, yeah. of get the creative juices going for me, and uh, and I really engage that. And generally, I create some kind of art about it. Right, right. And I know you showed me a great piece talking about uh, Kentucky history, some miners that you had done over thirty years ago. That's pretty yes. cool too. Yeah, it was just one. And again, one of those things. It's a fascinating photograph that somebody sure. took. Sure. And so back when I was about twenty years old, I drew that in pencil. That was my favorite medium back in those days. Right, right, right. And uh, just, I mean, it, it, it's always just transported my imagination to think of what it would have been like to live in yesteryear. Oh, yeah. Uh, and the way they had to live and the technologies they didn't have. Right. Uh, and so that was reflected in that drawing. Hey, and also I know that we had a connection that we didn't know before we came on the show, Paint Lick. And you also have a great... Uh, painting of downtown Paint Lick. Yes, I do. I have a painting of downtown Paint Lick. I've also done a painting of the old school, the elementary oh, ni school. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. That was an oil painting. The painting of downtown Paint Lick is a watercolor painting. Okay. And I, I have prints available of those two pieces. But I've done a number of pieces of art uh, based on scenery all around central Kentucky, sure. and especially in my home, Madison County. Right, absolutely. And speaking of that, what is your, how, how do people get a hold of you, Tim, on, on Facebook and, and, of course, your website? Yes, I'm available on Facebook. I, I, my doing business as is Skylight Originals. Okay, okay. And the reason for that is uh, I really believe that inspiration comes from above. It comes sure. from the sky. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Uh, and so I have a website called skylightoriginals.com. Okay. And then, yes, I'm available on Facebook and on Instagram. Okay, fantastic. Now, the reason you're here today, you have a special unveiling on August the 30th. Tell, tell us about that and how all that came about. Well, yeah, as I may have already mentioned, you know, I was, I've been interested in the Battle of Richmond because right. it was so local. Yes. Uh, and I came into a friendship with Dean Warren Lambert back in the early 90s, who mm -hmm. was a professor, I believe, of history at Berea College. That's right, right. And uh, in that connection, I ended up being the illustrator for his dust jacket of the book he published in, I believe it was 1996. That's right. I th think you're right. Yeah. And I, there was a painting of uh, Mount Zion Church on yes, that. Yes, yes. And there were some uh, pen and ink drawings within. And uh, so that was a real privilege to be able to work with him and to do that. But my interest in the battle has remained all these years. Right, right. And uh, I just recently read a book about the battle of Shiloh. And I learned there that there was one general, uh, William Nelson. I've heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> who is a Maysville boy. Right, right. And uh, he, he uh, commanded troops there at the battle. And then he then became the major general here in central Kentucky. That's right, right. He was in charge of the forces here that were defeated by yes, the Confederates right. in 1862. Uh, I was toying with doing a painting of him for a long time. He's an interesting character. Yes, he is. An yep. irascible man. Right. 
uh, colorful speech. Yep, yep. <laughs> excitable boy. Yes, yes. Uh, right. And uh, I had taken some photographs at reenactments in the past, and mm -hmm. I thought these are good source material, and I think someday I'm going to paint him. And so I did. The someday has arrived. I, I did a painting of him, and I've depicted him uh, astride his horse in the Richmond Cemetery, as right. I depicted at the time. Sure, sure, right. Receiving the bad news as he arrived late to the field that uh, they weren't doing very well. Yeah, right. And uh, you can make out some things if you're looking in the painting, you know, that are foreshadowings of things that were to come. And that's right. why... I've entitled the painting Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing. That's yeah. fantastic. And the unveiling is, is Monday, August the 30th. Yes, it is. Give us the details about that. Well, we I'm doing this in association with the Battlefield Association. Okay, right. Uh, Philip Safer is That's a right. great right. host. And, right. And so they're going to be alongside me on that evening as we unveil the painting. And then they'll be there along with me to, to answer technical, technical historical questions. questions. Right. Excellent. But Excellent. I can answer questions certainly coming from the point of view of the artist. Oh, that's fantastic, Tim. Yeah. That's, that's great, and it, it's going to be a fun evening. I think it is. I'm I, looking forward I think to so. it. I think so. Give us your website one more time. That's uh, skylightoriginals.com. All right. Tim, thanks for coming in. Thank you. And we'll see you, everybody, August the 30th. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you then.